a very warm good morning sir i namneet kaur grower would like to say a quote to start my webinar if you focus on success you will have stress but if you pursue excellence success will be guaranteed so for starting a new chapter of learnings i namneet kaur grower being your host for today's event want to extend a warm greeting and good morning to all of you present here i hope you all are doing amazing on behalf of the whole sams family i welcome you all for today's international webinar on the topic stress management through zdnlp that is zen meditation with linguistic programming and to add our guest of honor and today's speaker mr murli menon it is a great honor to have you with us sir we are grateful for your presence also i see people joining with us so before i proceed let me take a moment to introduce you sir firstly i want to introduce my organization to you so sams welfare foundation swf is a non profit entity established to work in the area of education social welfare women empowerment skill development and entrepreneurship livelihood generation and employability health research culture international cooperation sports environmental protection or any other similar sectors we promote healthy lives a balanced and active community and strong businesses now let me introduce our today's speaker to you all mr murli menon is a linguistic expert a poet and a speaker a non resident keralite he hails from kollengore in palakkad district now settled in ahmedabad has been pursuing advanced research on the effects of storytelling on the unconscious mind he is the president of phenomenon consultants incorporated ahmedabad mr murli is an internationally acclaimed zdnlp trainer and his first book was zdnlp the path to succeed and his second book is zdnlp the path to relax apart from this murli wrote his own autobiography titled zdnlp learning through stories in 2014 murli's book has have been prescribed as textbooks in different american universities also his name is listed in the international who is who of intellectuals by international biograph uh, biographical institute cambridge mr murli is an internationally acclaimed zdnlp tra trainer and is the only asian to become a certified member of v care coalition of usa and is a recipient of the international award for distinguished leadership given by american biographical institute usa now over to you sir thank you namni for the graceful introduction both of your company as well as myself i think you have in a short 200 words you have conveyed uh, almost a great deal and thank you very much my gratitude to you for being here on time and starting on time okay so uh, zedi nlp is a combination of zen meditation and neuro linguistic programming that which is nlp so you miss the neuro part so i just want to add though you are right because zen and nlp is zen and linguistic programming but uh, the n stands for neuro so nlp is a brand name in itself every year americans spend 20 billion dollars attending nlp programs which is a personal growth kind of a program so my patent is on zen nlp that is zen meditation with neuro linguistic programming so today the session is on simple ways to manage stress through meditation uh, i request all the audience to please answer my question which are the two languages known by all nations which are the two languages which are known by indians pakistanis americans japanese which are the two languages they are not the audible languages but they are the emotional languages okay i'll answer 
The first language that all the international people know is the language of love. The second is the language of money. So please take out a coin from your pocket. This is the first exercise in stress management. Uh, you can take a 1 rupee coin or a 2 rupee coin or a 5 rupee or 10 rupee depending what you have in your pocket. If you don't have a coin, just get it from your friend or neighbor or from your nearby. This coin is very important in today's lesson. So take this coin and put it on your forehead like a bindi so that it sticks on the forehead. Now I'll tell you the scientific reason why this will reduce stress. When you stick any weight on the pineal gland, the pineal gland is located behind the forehead. The pineal gland starts secreting a hormone known as DHEA. The full form of DHEA in medical science is dihydroxyepiandrostrol. DHEA is an alkaline hormone which induces relaxation, which makes your mind relax. So at the end of the session in 60 minutes or 30 minutes, all of you will feel more relaxed if you put a coin on the forehead. So please, I request all of you, including Nammi, to just take out a coin and put it on the forehead. In the end, you can give me a feedback how relaxed you feel. Next, I would like to start my session with a story. The first story is, somebody asked me at my talk, at uh, recently I had given a talk at uh, uh, the Edge College, the lead Leadership Development Institute in Kerala, and somebody in the audience asked me, but Mr. Menon, what is stress? I don't feel any stress. I'll explain to you what is stress. So one day in Tibet, a monk, a Tibetan monk, a Zen monk, goes to his master and asks him, I don't feel any stress. Can you tell me what is stress? So in Zen Buddhism, everything is answered by practical things. They don't give theoretical answers. So what the monk does is the monk gives the younger monk, the disciple, a hammer and a nail and says, please strike this into the wall. So the disciple goes to the room and hammers the nail into the wall. Now what happens when he hammers the nail into the wall? The nail goes into the wall, into the wall and the wall is broken. Then after some time the monk tells the disciple, now remove the nail from the wall. So he removes the wall, nail from the wall and goes to the master. And the master replies, stress is like this nail. When you are under stress, it is like hammering the nail into the wall. When stress disappears, it is like removing the nail from the wall. But the damage to the mind is permanent. So the stress causes permanent damage to the mind. Just like the hole in the wall, there are holes in your brain whenever you are under stress. So today I am going to tell you stress management techniques which can be done very simply and like this coin technique. Now I'll tell you what is the second technique. The second technique is a small exercise. Uh, please raise your hands like this. All of you can see me. Please raise your hands like this and follow me. Just copy me. Yeah. Fifty claps early in the morning stimulates the hegu point, which is an acupressure point in the palm, and this stimulates the pineal gland to secrete more of the alkaline hormone, uh, that is DHEA, dihydroxyepiandrostrol. So the first technique is the coin. The second technique is clapping. That is why you will find that almost all religions have got clapping in between, inbuilt into their rituals be it the Hindu Aarti, be it the Christian prayers or uh, be it any other religions. Clapping is an intricate part of devotion because clapping is a stress management tool. Now I will go to the PPT. Stress management made easy. Raj Dadisa Badan Kanwar School of Self Study. I am a professor of stress management at Raj Dadisa Badan Kanwar School of Self Study. This is located in a in a resort which is in between Mount Abu and uh, Udaipur 
uh, where we conduct a residential program for teachers internationally who come there for a seven day stress management retreat to learn Zen meditation. Now you notice I have written the date as 30th April 2020. Well, I have not changed this presentation since the last time uh, I did it at Raj, Dadan, uh, Raj Dadisa Badan Kanwar School of Self Study which was during the pandemic and uh, because whenever you are a perfectionist you add the stress. All of you know that today is the 22nd of April 2023 so I have not put 2023 but when you are a perfectionist when you keep on you know worrying about small small things on your presentation you are under more stress. So I just kept it the same because I said I'll explain it. It's a purposeful mistake because I it's a lesson in stress management. People who are very very fussy about their presentation being perfect are under more stress. So don't worry if you are a student in a school, college. If you make a mistake, you learn from a mistake. Don't worry about making mistake. Don't be scared to be. If you are, uh, if you are a more of a perfectionist, then you are under more stress. Uh, this is exemplified by many many top institutes in India where suicide rates are going up because they are too much of a perfectionist and when they have failure they get depressed. So don't be worried 2020 or 23 all of you know it's 22nd April 2023 only there is a small typing mistake on the PPT don't worry about it. Educator Zoom group. So I have given this talk at about 3000 colleges worldwide. How can educators reduce stress? Because the more the stress is reduced, the faster is the learning. It is the malady of our internet age that educators are so busy teaching that they have no time left to learn. So what this means is the teachers in the schools and colleges and engineering colleges and institutes are so busy teaching that they have no time left to learn. So we conduct training program for school teachers, college teachers, corporate trainers, we are trained the trainer and we train them that if you do stress management training, your education, your teaching abilities increase. Learning from illiterate, most primitive tribes who do not have a written script. Now most of the lessons, this coin technique, I learned from the Kadia and Mankadia tribes in Odisha, where all the children do not have a written script but they know the names of each and every animal and plant in the forest because they put a coin on their forehead when they listen to the their ancestral songs which describe the animals and plants. So it goes in the unconscious mind and they remember all the names. So this is a memory technique by putting a coin on the forehead you increase your memory by the more the alkali the brain has an alkaline pH the faster is the learning. So please remember that the most illiterate tribes have this technique whereby they learn without any written script. They do not have any books, they do not have any paper, they do not have any PPT. But learning is faster because they learn through the language of stories, dance, masks, paintings, sculptures and other, other learning tools like games. Lucky draw, coin and housey. Well, uh, I have a lucky draw in the end. All of you who will be there at the last slide, please type your name into chat and I will pick out one of the names randomly and that person will win a prize. What is the prize? My hobby is palmistry, that is reading the palm reading. I will do a 15 minute palm reading of the person who has won the prize on WhatsApp. I will share my WhatsApp number in chat for the winner. So please be there till the last slide. Take the coin and put it on your forehead. And uh, we also have an housey which I'll explain to you later. Uh, what are the types of stress? There are four different types of stress. Economic stress, physical stress, mental stress and spiritual stress. Let me tell a few words about each. What is economic stress? Dropping incomes. As you know, a lot of uh, IT companies are slashing their uh, manpower. So many people are out of a job or they are semi-employed or they are consulting or they are on the verge. So whenever the income drops, it increases stress. Increasing expenses. As you know, the petrol price is going up, the gas prices are going up. Uh, 
food prices are going up as the prices go up and incomes come down the savings reduce and it become more difficult to manage so this increases economic stress increasing uncertainty there is increasing uncertainty about the future there is this war in ukraine because of that there is wheat exports have stopped and food insecurity has been created any international event which creates uncertainty increases economic stress dropping interest rates uh, 10 years back the interest rate on a fixed deposit was 12% today it's come down to 6% so whenever the interest rate drops down what happen pensioners people who get pensions people who have savings in the bank their economic stress increases a uh, stock exchange the less said about the better it's like a seesaw and a pole vault sometimes it's high sometimes it's low so sensex increases stress i am not invested at all in the stock market and you know i am not under stress at all next physical stress long working hours you start your day at 9 in the morning you end at 6 in the evening some people start their day at 6 in the morning end at 9 in the night you have long working hours secondly you have another thing now that is 24 into 7 duties as long as your mobile phone is switched on you are on duty because the moment a mobile rings you pick it up you are under stress so 20 uh, so because of that the working hours is now 24 into 7 if your mobile is switched on at 2 o'clock in the night and your boss calls you from london i want this presentation you start working from 2 to 3 and give it that increases your stress so physical stress is because of longer working hours less of sleep lack of exercise improper irregular diet now all of you may have noticed that the diet spelling is wrong so now we have a housey anybody who points out a spelling mistake every five slides there is a purposeful spelling mistake done by me so if you find the spelling mistake you get a free palm reading so next time you see the uh, spelling mistake just type it in chat in the end uh, namneet will see the chat and tell me who are the winners if the spelling mistake is correct so that is the housey which kind of keeps you active and awake and listening to this presentation and yes my palmistry predictions are always true uh, i have learned palmistry for last 35 years and i am 55 years old lack of exercise lack of exercise increases physical stress stress be it the morning walk uh, be it the clapping so let's clap again <laughs> clapping 50 times reduces 50 calories because one clap reduces one calorie so if all of you are facing weight issues start clapping 1000 times and you will lose 1000 calories if you clap 3000 times and if you eat a full meal you will burn off those 3000 calories because in nlp it is impossible to walk 100 kilometers but it is possible to clap 1000 times so if you clap 1000 times a day at the end of a month it's the equivalent of walking 2 kilometers a day so small things add up to big results alcohol uh, consumption of alcohol smoking and non vegetarian food increases physical stress because it increases the pressure on digestive system mental stress little quality time with family welcome muskan admit i'm admitting all of you don't worry little quality time with family cell phones and television increases mental stress work pressure increases mental stress any uncertainty about your job any uncertainty about your exams any uncertainty increases mental stress deadlines i want it today only hamna ne hamna in gujarati hamna means now hamna ne hamna means now and now so that increases stress rat race i am a general manager he is a deputy general manager she is a vice president all these designations competition increases mental stress finally you have no time to relax you are always running in the rat race that increases mental stress spiritual stress visits to the temple mosque church are rare irregular prayers at home 
you pray but you know your prayer is like you are traveling in a car in bombay going from bandra to south mumbai to your office and on the way at siddhi vinayak temple you just slow down your car and say jai ganesh so the amount of time spent in prayer has become lesser and lesser as life becomes more competitive no prayers at office very few people have prayers at office and this increases stress in the school at least you have prayers in the morning so school the stress is little less in terms of spiritual stress lack of spiritual anchors all of you are searching for spiritual anchors search of peace of mind one of the fastest ways of stress management is by reading the bhagavad gita uh, now the whole bhagavad gita is in 18 chapters 18 adhyayas now what happens is the whole gita the gita is a synopsis of all the four vedas all knowledge that is contained in all the four vedas is synopsized into the bhagavad gita in 18 chapters all the 18 chapters of the gita are synopsized in the sixth chapter which is atma sanyam yoga also known as dhyana yoga or yoga through the path of meditation the word dhyan was taken to china by buddhist monks and mispronounced as chan chan means meditation in chinese the chinese monks took meditation to japan but chan was mispronounced by japanese as zan and zan metamorphosed into zen so when i say zen meditation it actually originates from the dhyan yoga which is the sixth chapter of the gita which is the essence of all the vedas now the first nine shlokas 9 and 108 are auspicious numbers in sanatan dharma so the first nine shlokas of the bhagavad gita sixth chapter which is dhyana yoga has the power of the all the vedas so let me tell you one of the stress management techniques reciting by heart the mantras or the shlokas from the the first nine mantras from the bhagavad gita i'll just give you a demonstration anashritah karm phalam karyam karm karoti ya sasanyasi cha yogi cha na niragrin chakriya ham sanyasamiti prahu yogam tam vidhi pandava han sanyasta sankalpo yogi bhavati kaschana aruruksho munir yogo karm karan mucchate योगारूढ़ तैव शमकारण मुच्यते यदा नेन्द्रर्थु न कर्म स्वनुसज्जते सर्वसकल्प सन्यासी योगारूढ़ तदच्यते उदेरात्मात्मात्मसाद आत्म आत्म बंधुर् आत्म रिपुरात्म बंधुरात्मात्मनस्त ज्ञानविज्ञानुक्तात्मुक्तुचतेगीलोष्टाश्मचन सुहुंद्र मित्रोदासीन मित्र द्वेशु साधुष्वी चापेशु समबुद्धि विशिष्य सो दीज नाइन श्लोका रिड्यूज युअर स्ट्रेस बाय एक्टिवेटिंग द चक्रा पॉइंट्स इन युअर बॉडी साइंटिफिकली द नाइन चक्रा पॉइंट्स द स्वादिस्ता चक्र द बिकॉज ऑफ द साइंटिफिक रिसाइटल ऑफ द गीता एनर्जाइज इज युअर बॉडी एंड रिड्यूज स्ट्रेस so remember or you don't have to read the full 18 chapters of the gita or all the four vedas like a chaturvedi just memorize the first nine shlokas of the sixth chapter dhyana yoga for mental stress what is nlp as i told you the word zen is coming from dhyan which is coming from dhyan which is coming from meditation and so the word zen is japanese but came from chan in china chan came from dhyan in india and dhyan means meditation neuro n is for neuro which represents behavior l is for linguistic which represents structure and finally p is for programming which is to create a change 
So NLP is the science of create structured change in behavior using the language of meditation. Yes. Next. Attitude adds up to 100%. Now all of you know the English word attitude is very powerful. Why? Because A is the first letter of the alphabet, T is the 20th, T is the 20th, I is the 9th, T is the 20th, U is the 21st, D is the 4th and E is the 5th. When you add up this attitude, it adds up to 100. The persons who developed the word attitude did not know mathematics and mathematicians did not know English. But attitude adds up to 100. Positive attitude generates positive results. Negative attitude generates negative results as regards to education and teaching. So have a positive mind like the flowers you see in the graphic by Padma Priya. History of NLP NLP was created by psychotherapist John Grinder, mathematician and psychologist Richard Bandler in association with Dr. Erickson, a leading hypnotherapist. This trio have split. ZenLP, that is NLP plus Zen, was patented by us in 1995, which is almost 30 years ago. We have patented ZenLP. I am doing this session since last 30 years uh, in all the continents of the world. I have traveled to 35 countries. Is your brain like a computer? Yes. Is your brain like a computer? Yes. The human brain is a powerful supercomputer. Supercomputers can be programmed by software. So the human brain too can be programmed using software. ZENLP is the software. Software for the brain. So what it means is the brain can be programmed by software. And the software is the coin, is the clapping and the meditation. It increases your DHEA, alkaline hormone in the brain and reduces stress. What can ZENLP do for you as students or professors or teachers? It can get positive results by programming your mind. ZENLP tribal meditation techniques will help you to manage stress effectively. Like this coin technique which is very simple. You can do it while going in the back seat of a car or even driving a car. Unconsciously you will be under less stress. The new psychology of motivation. The ZENLP way. Before I came into this session on Zoom, Zoom, all of you knew that Murli Menon is going to speak on stress management. But the ones you saw me, you saw me on the TV screen, the Zoom screen, you formed a bond with me. The first thing when you form a bond is to stick to time. I started on at 11 a.m. sharp because I know I will end exactly on time. So whenever you start things on time, you end on time, you create a bond. This bond is, was converted into trust by the coin technique. In the first five minutes of my presentation, I told you the nail story and I also asked you to put a coin on the forehead. So you knew that this gentleman knows something better. So let me listen to it. So the audience is retained if there is trust between the speaker and the student. So when you are as teachers or as students, unless you have trust with the faculty, you will not learn. When you have trust, learning is 90%. When you don't have trust, learning is 30%. These are the students in the classroom who look, after the look out of the window when the teacher comes into the class is because of the lack of trust. This trust I converted into rapport by the clapping exercise. So let's clap. When the student and the children or the stu students and the teacher clap together, it creates a rapport that is an unconscious rapport. The conscious mind is only 7%. The subconscious mind is 28%. But maximum amount of the mind is 55% is the unconscious. By clapping, you create unconscious rapport with the unconscious mind, which is the middle. So when there is unconscious rapport, it gives an opportunity for motivation. So remember the housey spelling mistake prices are on. Quietly chat which spelling is wrong and you will get a free palm reading by WhatsApp. And those of you who are following the coin, the person who will show the coin in the end also will get a free palm reading. Who will keep the coin the longest and for who will uh, definitely be paying attention and will be there till the last slide. Next. ZNLP builds trust. Trust reduces stress levels. ZNLP is an entirely new system of stress management based on trust. 
Zen Neuro Linguistic Programming will provide tribal meditation techniques to your team to manage stress. ZENLP techniques will program your unconscious mind which is 55% which is like an iceberg. The mind is like an iceberg. Only 7% of the mind is out of the water. Majority is in the subconscious which creates your dream and the unconscious which creates out of body experiences. What is trust? Trust is created when there is physical, mental and spiritual rapport at home. Trust is created when you use ZENLP meditation techniques and metaphors. What is a metaphor? A metaphor is a story. Now I'll tell you a story about a fisherwoman who found her own solution. One day when I, was, uh, I started my career in marketing, I've done my MBA from the Institute of Management Development Research Pune and after that I was working in AstraZeneca which is a present day vaccine company but I quit it in 95 to start ZenLP. When I was working in that company, I was take, given a kind of an exam on marketing. I was taken to a fish market and asked to help a fisherwoman sell her fish. Now what happens in a fish market? All the fisherwomen are selling to, are shouting to sell their fish. 10 rupees kilo, 20 rupees kilo, 40 rupees kilo. So there is so much of noise in the fish market. That is why teachers tell their students in class, don't make this class into a fish market because there is so much of cacophony, you know. There is so much of cacophony in the... So what I did was, I took a temple bell and gave it to the fisherwoman to find her own solution. I told her, don't shout, but ring a bell. As soon as the sound of a bell, tang tang tang, was heard in a fish market, all the customers went to this fisherwoman and bought the fish. So, whenever you make a different kind of noise, you learning is faster. Unconscious mind gets programmed if you use different. So, always find your own solution, be creative. Programming your mind. Your mind has three basic methods of perceiving the world. First is visual, second is auditory and third is kinesthetic. Visuals see the world, auditories hear it and kinesthetics feel it. Ideas are the root of creation. Everything, the Talmud is a Jewish holy book. The ideas, everything was created by an idea. For example, this house, this building was built on a blueprint. It was in the mind of somebody that I'll have a living room, I'll have a kitchen, I'll have three bedrooms, etc. So first the architect draws the diagram and then the house is built. Similarly, everything that happens in education starts in the mind. And Zen LP is a programming technique to program the mind and reduce stress. So the first thing is more of DHEA, faster is the learning. How did I memorize the whole sixth chapter of the Gita within a month? By using this coin technique. The moment you put a coin on the forehead and learn, your learning abilities go up, your, your memory goes up and for example, I can read out many books also, which I'll do in the end. You can memorize the whole book by putting your hand on the book. Next. The important point about these mental maps and these modes are the preferred modes of thinking. A visual response when communicated through colorful presentations. It is his most natural way of understanding the world. Zen LP segments people into visuals, auditories and kinesthetic. The word kinos in Greek means to touch. So kinesthetic means are people who learn by touching and feeling. Auditories are people who learn by sound. They can tape a lesson, listen to it in the Walkman and they will get good marks. The visuals, they, they only want to read. So they want a color book, they want to hold it in their hand and read it with the eyes. So the people who get programmed by eyes, people who get programmed by ears and people who get programmed by touch and different stress management techniques work for different. For example, the people who like touch, they, their stress goes down by clapping and by coin. For visuals, they get charged by color therapy or by visualizing colors. And for auditories, they get relaxed by music. We'll come to that in the later. Or chanting mantras like the Gita and etc. This segmentation is based on your unconscious mental map. In the 55%, you are either a visual, auditory or kinesthetic, not all the three. Next. The focus of Zen. As you can see in the picture below, the green circle represents earth. The red square represents fire. And the blue triangle represents water. So all human beings are made up of the elements. Pancha Mahabhut. What is the saying of Kabir? Vayu apya tejas gagan samira pancha mahabhuto se vanasharira. Vayu is air. 
Apya is water, Tejas is fire, Gagan is ether and Samira is wind. So the five elements make up the body but the primary elements are earth, fire and water. Bhumi is earth. So you can see this beautiful graphic of fire, water and earth. So each one of you is either a fire, water or earth based on the ZNLP classification. At the end of this talk, I will put the link on the, you have a chat GPT a, a test which we have developed with an algorithm. We can put it, you can take the test online. I will share it uh, with uh, uh, Sems and uh, Namneet by email and by WhatsApp. So it can be shared on your WhatsApp group. And all of you can take the test to find out your primary learning methodology. So that you can use the appropriate stress management technique. Visuals. Convert everything you say into pictures. They are walking slide projectors. They remember color, shape and forms. They think in images. They love visual aids. Visual learners get programmed by the eyes. Visuals. Characteristics. Voice is high pitched. Fast pace of talking. Maintain eye contact while talking. Use visual predicates in their talk. The word predicate means based on the linguistic, you can identify whether it is a visual, auditory or kinesthetic. How? Visual will use the following words, see, picture, color, visualize, bright, view, clear, look, show me, show me. If a teacher is constantly saying show me, show me the assignment, that that teacher is a visual, so show him because he gets programmed by visually and he will respond to color meditation. Visual managing stress, chakra meditation. What is chakra meditation? It is a vibgyor meditation. Violet, indigo, orange, green, yellow, orange, red. Visualize the different colors going through the different chakras. We do a two day workshop on stress management. For more details, you can join our two day session. This is just a one hour talk, so I won't be going into detail, but chakra meditation. Fire music. Fire music is means the music of the fire. We have a different music for visuals. Huku meditation, again, I won't go into details because there is lack of time. Auditories. Auditories are those who get programmed by ear. Auditories listen to the way you say things. They are walking jukebox. A jukebox uh, in the olden days was when you put a coin and it will play a compact disc with a song. That is a jukebox. They remember tones, pitch and sounds. They think in talks. They always talk to themselves. Use auditory predicate. If visual predicate is C, can you tell me what will be the auditory predicate? How can you predict an auditory by linguistic? Okay, your mics are muted, just type it. Auditory predicates, let's come to that. Tell, say, hear, narrate, boom, ting, whoosh, listen, music. An auditory, if there is an accident, will describe the accident like this. The, the, the car was going drim and the bus was coming boom and they banged. They will make some sound in their communication. So a linguist like me, I am an expert linguist, I can immediately make out that this person is auditory. So he will respond to music therapy for stress management. So in our workshop, we identify people as fire, water, earth and give them three different meditations. Next, auditory is managing stress, chanting mantras like the Gayatri mantra, Om Bhur Bhuva Swaha. Tat Savitur Varenyam, Pargo Devasya Dhimai, Dhiyo Yonaha Prachodaya, Om Jum Saha, Sa Jum Om, Trayambakim Yajamai, Suvandin Pushti Vardhanam, Urvaryukami Vandhanath, Mrityor Mokshiyamam, Om Shri Vakratunda Mahakaya Surya Koti Samaprabha, Nirvignam Kurme Devo Subhakareshu Sarabhada. So chanting mantras is a way of stress management for auditory. Water music, listening to the sounds of water. Waterfall, lake, river, any sound of water reduces stress for auditories. Sound vibration, nidra meditation, recitation, again that we will do in our two-day programs. Kinesthetics, touch and feel. Kinesthetics act on the way they feel. They are walking thermometers. They are the people who start sweating the first when in a classroom air conditions and fans are switched off. They are, I am a kinesthetic. They remember touch, emotion, and anything. Kinesthetic teachers always shake hands of students or pat them on the back. They like to touch and feel. They use kinesthetic predicates in their talk. If visual predicate is C, auditory predicate is here, what will be the kinesthetic predicate? Feel, grab, touch, 
handle, rub, grasp, affect, impress. Touch, handle, rub, rub. Kinesthetic character. Frequent pauses conversation like me. Likes to touch people while talking, clapping. Sensitive to minor temperature fluctuations. Start sweating very profusely, faster. Play with paper weights, pencils on the table. If he is a professor in a college, he will always be playing with a pen or pencil on the table. You can make out that person is a kinesthetic. Kinesthetic, managing stress. To who meditation, earth music, hoo-ha meditation, writing, poetry. Writing is very therapeutic, it reduces stress for kinesthetic. So what we do in our two day program, first day we analyze you, we put you in fire, water, earth. And in the afternoon, you have the meditation separately for fire, color meditation, water meditation for auditories, and earth meditation for cancer. Examples. Visual, the Pele, the football star uh, who recently passed away, he was a visual. He had the highest record of scoring goals from corner kicks. So when he was asked, how did you score so many goals from corner kicks? He said, when the ball comes to me, I can see it faster than my teammates and faster than my opponents. He was a visual. Jimmy Connors, tennis player. Now when Jimmy Connors used to play John McEnroe, John McEnroe started grunting with his serve. Go! Oh, then serving. At that time, Jimmy Connors started losing because Jimmy Connors was an auditory and John McEnroe was trained in NLP. So John McEnroe was told by the NLP trainer that whenever you play Connors, you grunt who and then serve. Then you know Ivan Dendel started grunting and Monica Seller started grunting and grunting came into tennis to disturb the auditory. Auditories listen to the way the ball sounds on the court and then takes the... So Jimmy Connor started losing and uh, John McEnroe became the world champion. That's because of NLP or Neuro Linguistic Program. Finally, kinesthetic is the pole vaulter Bubka. Bub Sergei Bubka of Russia broke more world records in pole vault than any other pole vault. The speciality was used to tell the television cameras in the morning, I am going to vault at 11, you come because I am going to break the world record. How can you predict? So he says, I get a gut feeling with me unconsciously that I am going to break the world record. That gut feeling was because it was a kinesthetic touch and feel. So each one of you is either a Pele or a Connors or a Bubka in the unconscious mind. What is that? In the end. When you communicate to your mind in its own mode, it will effectively manage stress better. So visual by color, auditory by sound, kinesthetic by touch. Managing stress. Zen diet. As I said, non-veg increases stress. So in our program, we give you a vegan diet. V gun. V is alphabet V in English. Gun is bandhuk. Vegan. A vegan diet is a plant-based diet, which is good for health. I am a vegan for last 35 years. I don't take any animal products, no milk or no dairy, only plant-based foods. Secondly, exercise. Clapping, we also have higher exercises like slight exercise, but which you can do sitting or we, which we know as office yoga. Nidra music, music for sleeping. So, 8 hours of sleep you get when you listen to that music before, 5 minutes before sleeping and then go to sleep. You sleep for 8 hours. Yesterday I slept at 10 and woke up at 6 in the morning, went for my morning walk. I listen to this Nidra music every night, which is for kinesthetics. Chanting, chanting the Gita, 6th chapter of the Gita, Mahamutyundya Mantra, Gayatri Mantra, or any other mantra, your Guru Mantra, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Satsang, that is group meditation, prayers. Physical stress is controlled by Zen diet and yoga. Mental stress by meditation, Zen meditation. And spiritual stress by prayers. And mental stress also can be reduced by nidra music, getting good sleep and also by relaxation music or sounds of crickets, sounds of, bat, uh, of birds etc. So chakra meditation is for visuals that is color therapy, sound vibration and music therapy is for auditories and kuhu meditation and massage therapy is for kinesthetics to reduce stress. Tribal meditation, I told you that tribal lady, that's a 80 year old tribal lady, you can see her hair is still black, it's not white. She's 80 years old but she's meditating with the coin because the more the DHEA, the more anti-aging. That is why the Hindu women put a bindi on the forehead, not the sticker bindi, but the bindi with, you know, saffron or vermilion or 
you know that bindi which is naturally put with this finger increases the DHEA secretion. Then that's me with the tribals and the tribals are planting a tree. That's me at the sacred grove of the tribals. These tribals are known as Kadia and Mankadia. Mankada means monkey in Odia. Mankadia means people who are like monkeys. They live on the trees. They don't come down. But they use this coin meditation. They know about DHEA which many doctors in India don't know about. So ZNLP meditation. Kuhu meditation is for Surya Namaskar is for physical stress. Kuhu meditation is for mental stress. Kundalini meditation is for spiritual stress. Shanti meditation is for spiritual stress. Nidra meditation is for mental stress. Yoga is for physical stress. Tribal tortoise is now the lucky draw. I will take out the prize. How many of you are there? Please type your name in the chat. So I will take out a name and you get a palm reading session uh, uh, by WhatsApp. I will send you a my WhatsApp number in the chat. Uh, we also have certain thing for economic stress, which is a tortoise, which can be kept in the eastern direction to attract money. That is known as the tribal vastu. Finally, I'd like to end with the tribal butterfly story. All of you listen to me carefully for the last 45 to one hour. But what is the lesson taken home? One day, an old man is sitting on the mountain and meditating in on Mount Kailash. So the Tibetan boy who is 10 years old goes to his mother. Who is that old man? So mother said don't call him an old man. He is Lord Shiva. He knows the answer to all questions in this universe. So that he knows the answer to all questions in history, geography, algebra. He says yes. So he goes and he says I will ask a question to Lord Shiva for which he will have no answer or he will have the wrong answer. So I said go and ask. So the boy goes to the garden, catches a butterfly, holds the butterfly cupped in his hand so that it is alive goes to Lord Shiva, hides his hand behind his back so that the butterfly is still cupped and alive and thinks, he asks Lord Shiva, is the thing in my hand alive or dead? What does the child think the Lord Shiva will answer? If Lord Shiva answers the thing is alive, he will crush it with the hand the butterfly and say, so this is dead, your answer is wrong. If Lord Shiva says it is dead, he will leave the butterfly, the butterfly fly with the life. So both the answers Lord Shiva is wrong. So he goes, holds the butterfly holds it behind his hand, cups it so that it's alive and asks with closed eyes, is the thing in my hand alive or dead? You know the answer to all questions. So Lord Shiva answer to the child is my answer to you. How many of you will follow these techniques to for stress management? How many of you will attend a two day workshop on Zoom or uh, we do it in Udaipur, in Mount Abu and in Saila? How many of you will join the session? The Lord Shiva opens his eyes and answers, Bete, jawab aapke hath mein. The answer lies in your hands of the butterfly. So Lord Shiva says, whether it's alive or dead, answer lies in Or whether you will follow the stress management techniques or not, the answer lies in your hands. With this I end my session. I am open to questions. You can unmute the mics one meet of the others. They can ask me orally or I will look at the chat now and tell you the winners of the housey palmistry as well as other things. Thank you for your time. It was a wonderful knowledgeable session by given by you sir. I hope our audience learned many new things from this session. Basically the starting which you have done from the two techniques, the clapping technique and the coin technique was very great. Like I have a coin with me and I had put it on my mic uh, on my forehead yes. for the whole session. It was a wonderful session sir. So you win a free palmistry for the longest. <laughs> Thank you sir. Once again, I would like you uh, thank all of you for joining with us and to you also for sharing your experience, your precious time and knowledge with us. Sir, there are questions which uh, I would like to ask and my participants also would like to ask. Like uh, we have talked about stress management. So managing stress is one thing, but from where the stress is influenced, I want to ask that from you. Uh, well, uncertainty increases stress. First thing is uncertainty about the future. If the future is certain, let us say I will ask you a simple question. Uh, let us say you are working in Microsoft and the headline in the paper is Microsoft uh, due to some cost cutting reduces their uh, sales team by 10,000 jobs. So what happens, you are working in Microsoft in sales, you will obviously be under stress, right? That is the creation of stress uncertainty. I am giving you a sample example because a lot of my clients are multinational companies. Uh, 
so uh, one more question from my side like after covid yes we have seen that lot of people are like oh i am stressful enough i am stressful for my job i am stressful for my non, uh, education purpose and many more things so uh, do you also think that after covid the stress rate has increased or it is the people who are very conscious about their uh, health or other situations um, namneet Nam you have asked a very intelligent question and my answer to you is very practical before mother pandemic i used to do sessions on zoom that is before 2020 for us and european companies uh, on an average we used to do about one or two sessions in a week from 2020 that number has gone up to 10 to 20 especially among vaccinated people so people who are vaccinated they are under more stress somehow because most of the people who vaccinated have got an uncertainty whether they'll get covid or not so covid made everything uncertain you know whether tomorrow yes, i'll have my job or not whether tomorrow i'll have my health or not whether tomorrow i'll have the remdesivir or not so it has increased stress because uh, on an average in 2021 2022 our weekly programs for middle east and europe has gone up in india it's almost the same so india has not been that badly affected so it was very effective for our audience like all the knowledge which we have gained from you from past one hour uh, that was a very good piece of advice from your side thank you so much sir for answering all the questions thank you all for attending today's webinar and if you have any additional questions you can contact us by email or telephone we are happy to provide you additional support to you so stay connected with us for new learnings i namneet kaur your host for the day signing off Have a wonderful day